Yehuala becomes youngest woman to win London Marathon despite face plan. First she flew like superwoman. Then she ran like one. And, on the streets of London, a new star was born as the 23-year-old athlete Yale Msurf Yehuala became the youngest woman to win the London Marathon. What made Yehuala's victory more stunning was that she endured a spectacular faceplant on a sleeping policeman speed bump with six miles to go. It sent the Ethiopian sprawling, caused considerable soreness to her hip, hand and knee, and left her at least 25 meters behind the leading pack. Yehuala, however, picked herself up, rushed back into contention, and then destroyed her rivals with a devastating burst to win in 2 hours 17 minutes 26 seconds. It was the third fastest time in the history of the women's race, behind only Paula Ratcliffe and Mary Kidney. I was heading to a water station so I did not see the bump coming, Yehuala said afterwards. I was heading to a water station so I did not see the bump coming. A leading group of six was whittled down gradually so that with two miles remaining the race was a shootout between Yehuala and last year's winner Joyce Ilin Jepkoschei. But it was then that the Ethiopian hit the afterburners. She ran that 24th mile in an extraordinary 4 minutes 43 seconds to power to victory by 41 seconds. Yehuala, who runs for the same NN group as the men's world champion Eliud Kipchoge, now plans a return to London in April to defend her title. But she admits she will have bigger goals on her mind then, too. It is my first time in London so I am so happy to win, said Yehuala, who runs 180 km to 195 km a week in training. People were shouting a lot and it inspired me. But the longer plan I have is that I would like to next time break the world record. The best British finisher, Rose Harvey, said she was delighted to do so well having started training seriously in lockdown. It is my first time in London so I am so happy to win, the 30-year-old athlete said, after finishing 10th in 227 and 59 seconds. I work in corporate finance law. I had three months gardening leave and I started training for a half Ironman. My coach spotted me at the track and asked if I needed some coaching. I got a new job but kept going. Meanwhile the men's race was won by Amos Kipruto, who has often been the bridesmaid but never the bride in major races. The 30-year-old Kenyan had won the bronze medal at the 2019 World Athletics Championships, and was second at the 2022 Tokyo Marathon behind Kipchoge, but he looked strong throughout. The decisive strike came as the leading group entered the Blackfriars Tunnel. At that point four athletes were still contention, but Kipruto put in a 421 on mile 25 to bound clear to victory in 204 and 39 seconds. I was thinking this is the day, Kipruto said afterwards. I was thinking this is the day. The Ethiopian Luul Jabrez Lace was second in 2 minutes 5.12 seconds, followed by the Belgian athlete Bashir Abdi 7 seconds back in third. Meanwhile the 40-year-old Kenaniza Bakale the second fastest marathoner of all time and one of the greatest distance runners in history, dug in deep to finish fifth in 2 colon 05 colon 53. The first Britain home was the 28 year old Wayne Gebrez Lazy, who was born in Eritrea but qualified last year to represent Great Britain. He finished ninth in a personal best time of 2 11 and 57 seconds, followed closely by compatriot Philip Seisman. In the men's wheelchair race, the 43-year-old David Weir was delighted to finish in third in his 23rd consecutive London Marathon. There's still a lot of pressure on me to do well because people expect me to podium every time I race, but they forget how old I am, Weir said. There's still a lot of pressure on me to do well because people expect me to podium every time I race, but they forget how old I am.